Mendoza. Sorry. Uh, so uh, the next one is by Prashant Kumar from uh, SAC ISRO. Yes. Okay, so recently launched scatterometer winds are used in this work for finding the cyclone track of FET. Because we, as we know, uh, QQ scat is now not working from since 2009. So these are the observations which are available over the oceans. Okay, so these are the one simple plot of the ocean set to scatterometer wind at the time of the FET cyclone. It's cover very well the cyclonic positions of the fat cyclone. At the same time, TMI observations are also used for finding the cross validation of our scatterometer wind with TMI. This scatterometer winds are uh, captured by the backscatter coefficient, which measures by the our satellite, and we find the wind from this uh, scatterometer uh, backscatter coefficient. So right now we are also trying to use this backscatter coefficient directly in the model and similar to our radiance assimilation to f find the impact of backscatter coefficient assimilation in place of winds assimilation. So this is the sum test case which I use. So in place of directly taking the NSEP analysis as a our first guess, I use the six hour forecast from 12 GMT. And in addition to the GFS forecast, I also use some conventional data. This is mainly the surface observations. With that, some combination of TMI wind speed, precipitable water, ocean side to wind are used. So a total collection of seven different experiments are performed. Out of that, one experiments are used in which I tried to use only the scatterometer wind only, means wind speed. In that case, it will be slightly similar to the TMI wind speed. So I just want to check ki how much impact is obtained in scatterometer wind assimilation when wind direction are added with wind speed. So before assimilation, I want to confirm ki whatever data I am trying to assimilate, what is the quality of that data. So before the assimilation, I check our scatterometer wind speed with NSEP reanalysis as well as whatever buoy observations are available during that period. So it is the almost two days period. So very few Rama buoys we have over Indian oceans. So we compare both the observations with our OSCAD wind speed corresponding in 7 li and it gives the our calibration error. Our calibration error of the scatterometer wind is 2, two meter per second in wind speed and 20 degree in our direction. So in both the cases, it's almost similar to our calibration error. So this is the typical track of, taken from the JTWC. It show that it first hit the Oman coast and then after it go towards the Pakistan. So during, for tracking the procedure, I use the WRF version model, which is an anchor based model. And assimilation scheme is used the, as a 3D war. So for using this 3D war, I calculated one background error, which is generated by the NMC method. National Meteorological Center method, which is totally based on the forecast. Means we assume that to calculate our model error, I assume that whatever our 12 hour forecast and 24 hour forecast, we find the difference of 12 hour forecast in 24 hour forecast. On the basis of these statistics, we generate the background error covariance matrix. So typically I use one domain, it's a nested domain in which the cyclonic center position, we take a high resolution domain, which is a 10 kilometer. Oh. So these are the some different, means after assimilation, how much impact of our data that I want to find out. So this is the corresponding NSEP analysis valid at the time of our assimilation. This is the control experiments, which comes from the six hour forecast. And these are the some different experiments. The name is written here based on the OSCAT and TMI observations. So as we found that after six hour assimilation, sea level pressure 
is slightly uh, underestimated in control, which is continue in all the TMI based experiments. But when we assimilated the, our scatterometer winds and direction, these differences are very less. And similarly, when I use only the scatterometer wind speed, wind direction I remove from the scatterometer wind, then it shows the similar feature as given in the our TMI wind speed. Means if we are if we are using scatterometer as a only wind speed, means radiometer type of property, then it will uh, work as a radiometer. The scatterometer will work as a radiometer. So over in all the scatterometer based experiment, you can easily find out that our minimum sea level pressure is almost similar to observed. Then this is the typical assimilation experiment based observation which show that after before assimilation how much error is there and after assimilation how much error is reduced. So our this plot show that scatterometer means observation minus first cache means observation minus background and this is the total data count. After assimilation it's reduce the error and bias is converges toward the zero value. So this is the aim of our assimilation scheme ki after assimilation our analysis will be closer to the observations. So overall in both the cases either in wind speed or in wind direction our analysis is closer to the observations. So same thing is reproduced here as a scatter plot after assimilation our analysis is nearer to the observations. Okay, so these are the same plot, track forecast plot. In this you can easily find out that this is the JTWC best observed track joint tarpoon burning centers. This we consider as a observed value and these are the three plots based on the, our OSCAT experiments. And it's a very interesting result when we are not using the scatterometer direction at that time it will also represent the similar properties as given by the radiometer, TMI radiometer. So these are the some few track error forecasts and overall in all the assimilation case when scatterometer wind is used we have a less track error. Oh and this is the last slide. So overall scatterometer improved the initial condition and center of the cyclone. TMI based experiments uh, intensify the initial position but in a scatterometer we are nicely predicted that value. Except the OSCAT experiments none of the experiments was able to predict the cyclone position toward the Oman coast. Okay and now from here I some motivation from this monsoon school that now I will try this Kalman filter and compare our scheme, same scheme with 3D war. How much impact, whether there is any impact or not that I will find, try to find out. Okay, and these are some publications because this is the project of OceanSat 2 utilization projects. So we required some publications. Okay, thank you. Uh, maybe thank you slide is not. <laughs> Okay. Oh uh, well, I had, I hope you don't mean the extended Kalman filter. Yes. You do? Okay. <laughs> That's gonna be tough. But anyway. uh, <laughs> make it. Maybe make it ensemble. But anyway. Uh, okay.